thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be on my favorite eyeshadow palettes for summer. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so this video is going to be a collab between myself and Niecy J. Y'all already know that she's my BFF. And if you all like me, you're gonna love her because her channel is all about mature skin, mature makeup. Um, she's 50 years old and she's absolutely gorgeous. You have to go and check her out. And I love her content. She is very knowledgeable in all things skincare, all things mature skin, and you have to go and check her out. You'll absolutely love her. So we decided to collab and just talk about our favorite eyeshadow palettes for summer. And we just went through our collection and picked out some of our favorites. And just remember when you finish my video to go check out her channel. Remember, you're gonna love her. So I'm gonna start off with, in no particular order, this Artist Couture Supreme Bronze Palette. The packaging looks like this. And here are the shadows. Um, you get some mattes, you do get some metallics and some little sparkle shades. I really do like the fact that you get a black in here, which is really helpful if you have a deeper skin tone and you want to deepen up an outer V or smoke something out. And it's just a really good palette for summer because you have all of the bronze colors, you've got the golds as well as the terracotta shades. Now, this would be a good palette if you just kind of wanted to kind of keep it neutral, nothing too fancy and bright. This would definitely be a good palette, but this is one of my favorites for summer. All right, my next favorite is the LA Girl Mainstay Desert Dream Palette. Here is the packaging, and here are the shadows right here. Now, blues and purples, they are really popping this summer. You're gonna see a lot of these shades in a lot of eyeshadow palettes. And I personally like LA Girl's eyeshadows. You know, the quality can be debated amongst, amongst all of us, but I personally like it, especially for the price. And I really do think that these, this light blue and green would work really well in the summer. And that's why this is in my favorites list. Also, these metallics down here are really pretty, very light and bright, um, which works really well if you're going to use any of these deeper shades to kind of deepen out the outer V. And this is definitely one of my favorites for summer. And who could resist a blue or a green in a palette? You know, definitely not me. All right, so my next favorite is this NARS Afterglow palette. This is it right here. And can we just take a moment for the packaging? Totally gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, here are the shadows. And again, you get some mattes, you get some metallics and a, like a little sparkly shade. And this is another palette if for the summer you want to go with kind of a neutral type of bronzy look. If you wanna keep that bronze effect going, you don't want a lot of color, this would definitely be great for summer. And I also like how they attached a little cranberry shade in there to add a little bit of pop of color. But this is definitely Definitely one of my favorites for summer. You know, just add a cute little sundress and pair this palette with it and can't go wrong. All right, so the next palette I have is the ABH Norvina palette and this is volume five. Looks like this. And the formula with the Norvina palettes can definitely be debated, but I happen to like uh, her formula. I really do like how you get a good mix of mattes, metallics, and you even get a glitter just in case you are a glitter girl but these purples in here are definitely great for summer they're all pretty and you know it does look like in this particular palette that she is repeating some shades but when you swatch them in person there is um, the tone is different you know some tones are um, more on the warmer or cooler side but you can definitely get some pretty summer looks in here especially with these pinks up here and this peachy color just really cute and I do love how she has this uh, side row for deepening up the outer V and lower lash line just however you want to do it but this palette is totally gorgeous and I also love the fact that she popped in white you really don't see uh, good whites in a lot of eyeshadow palettes it's kind of hard to find a good one and that is definitely a good one but if you're looking for a good summer palette this is it and this is definitely one of my favorites all right so the next one that I have is a Morphe palette and this is the Live 
with love morphe palette this is it right here now i really like the fact that this is very colorful and bright and works really well if you're one of those type of girls that likes the pops of color just um with every color in the rainbow this is definitely your palette and especially with these reds and this yellow right here and again i do like how the bottom row you do you do get deeper shades for you know deeper skin tones um, where you can deepen up the outer V and lower lash line even the little teals are really pretty you know this is just like a colorful girl's dream um, because this palette seems like it has every shade in it and this definitely falls as one of my favorites all right so this next palette is the Natasha Denona love palette I love this palette it's super pretty look at all of the you get some reds in here and you get some more purples and you get the peaches and you get metallics as, as well as mattes in this palette and it really works well if you like reds and purples mixed together um, I think that the formula is outstanding especially in the $65 palettes of Natasha Denona's and this has really worked well for me this summer so far and I definitely love it and even if Natasha Denona wasn't my favorite uh, eyeshadow brand I would still say that about this because I really love the color story and all of the looks that I've created with this palette this summer have worked really well and to me it's just a really cool palette for summer all right so the next palette that I have is by Too Faced and this is the Mariella Amore Calente palette I think that I'm butchering this name and this is it right here I really love the color story on here I do like the fact that you get a pop of pink like a burgundy an orange and a peach and of course you get your metallics your mattes and you get a sparkly shade here and again this is another one that I've made some really pretty looks with and I like the light shades up here as well you know you can use them as a brow bone highlight you can use them as an inner eye highlight um, all of that but this has definitely been one of my favorites for the summer and if you haven't tried it I would definitely say so I think this is marked down to $22 or less but it's a really nice palette all right so the next palette that I want to talk about is this Urban Decay Stone Vibes palette this is it right here and I would really consider this a companion palette let me take out this brush but here are the shades right here. Um, you do get a total of four metallic shades. I think this one um, up close, it looks more, excuse me, you do get four matte shades, um, but I think this one right here is kind of a mix between a matte and a metallic, but the rest of the shades are metallic. That's why I said that it's more of a companion palette. And these metallic shades are so sparkly. So if you have like a matte palette, that you don't have any type of metallics attached to or anything like that I would definitely check this one out the only thing about this palette that I don't particularly like I feel as though it was a bit overpriced but if you ever catch this on sale I think um, it would be worthy to check it out because of the metallics in this palette and as you can see you get a blue you get a gold you get a, a ice blue a green a pink and a purple and like uh, one of those bluish brownish shades and they are so pretty you know you could do your crease color your outer V and all that other stuff and then just put one of these shades right there on your lid and just be ready to go but this is definitely one of my favorite palettes for summer and I absolutely love it all right next is the Ambreezy palette do y'all remember this palette right here the packaging is so 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 pretty here are the shadows right here now this is definitely one of my favorites I love the fact that it has a black in here and how it has those deeper shades but that turquoise blue and this hot pink is totally gorgeous so if you like color you're looking for a palette that it has like bold pops of color as well as you know darker shadows deeper shadows I would definitely say to check this one out it does have two glitter shades right here and right here which are really nice so if you're a glitter person 
this would definitely work for you. And the light pinks and this uh, raspberry color are just really, really pretty. I mean, you cannot go wrong with this palette for the summer. And as far as nighttime looks, you can get lots of nighttime looks because it's got the deeper colors as well as the black, plus these glitters. You could just really do a after five or evening look with this palette and it's gorgeous and I love it. So that's pretty much it. Those are all of my favorite eyeshadow palettes for the summer. You all don't forget to go and check out Nisi J's favorite summer eyeshadow palettes. And when you go over there, tell her that I sent you and show her some love. Let me know down in the comments what have some of your favorite eyeshadow palettes for summer been. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.